Hey everybody, welcome back to War Pig Prepper. And today uh, we're going to do a spicy smoke. It's just like the regular white smoke devices that I taught y'all how to make. But this one, I added a little extra something and I took something out. And so this is more of a, uh, it's not a true tear gas, but will make you cough and tear up. It's a, I call it a cough fog. Because you're in there coughing inside the fog. And uh, let's see. It's uh, pretty good. It, it'll burn for about two, two and a half minutes. And uh, this one I'm making out of a different container, so it's less flammable. Other than the plastic pill bottles and the cardboard tubes that I was just hoping to make lighter. Well, I have to go for durability and less flame. And uh, more flame resistant other than weight. So, unfortunately, that's where we're going to have to go. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. Today you only need three ingredients. That's right, one, two, three. You have your regular sugar, you have your fantastic stump remover, and you have the thing that makes it very spicy. Boom, this stuff right here. You can buy this on Amazon for $17. Four ounces, and you can make three of them out of here because we're going to use uh, about 35 um grams per smoke and there's about a was it 100 and 113 so yep we can make three of them out of this all right just like your other one except for this one i wrote it down for you boom right here 60 grams stump remover 80 grams sugar i did 32 grams in my initial test but we're going to bump that up to 35 just so we can get an even three of them out of one bottle so let's get started all right right now we have 79.7 grams of sugar you don't it's not an exact science so there we go and we're going to dump that into our dedicated blender i use this blender for only this because i don't want to accidentally poison myself when I'm trying to make a smoothie. Let's go ahead and dump our 80 in there. Alright, let's go ahead and hit our stump remover. You're going to want 60. Yeah, it comes out in clumps, but it'll be alright. Again, not an exact science. Going in there. Gone. Where are we at now? 50? 50, 52? This stuff's a little bit more denser, so there we go. 59, good enough. Let's go ahead and dump that in here. All right, this is my little ninja blender. Now, you don't have to go all crazy with it. You just want it into a finer powder than what it is. Yes, I know it's dirty, but this is my experimental thing. I have no need to clean it up if I'm just going to get wax and shit on it anyway. Alright, when you're done, you're going to dump it into your dedicated melting pot. Right here. Once again, have a dedicated pot so you don't poison yourself. And we're going to turn that on to, I turn it to a number four. And then you're going to put a plate over top of it to keep the heat. All right, I'm going to tell you something that's going to make your life a little less painful. When you're doing this, we're going to put about 35 in there. Let's see where are we at? We're at. Alright, that's 35. Now I'm saying this is a little less painful because what you're going to do is you're going to dump it in a separate bowl. Like so. Just dip it in there. Now when I first started this, I made the mistake of mixing this stuff in the pan on the stove while the stuff was hot. And my sink, I mean uh, my kitchen filled up with 
well, it was rough. I had to let my kitchen air out for a day or so with the windows open, the fans blowing, and it was just a constant burning, a constant, very powerful uh, pepper smell. And whenever I would uh, get a little bit warm in here, it's like it would reactivate and start burning my eyes again. So that is a lesson learned, and I am telling you different. So go ahead and put it in here, and then you're going to take it outside, and then you're going to mix it, and I'll show you. All right, now, when we're mixing in here, you don't want to melt it down completely. You're going to get it to looking like it's a wet sand. All right, don't want to heat it up too fast, because then it's starting to burn. If you start to see smoke, you need to turn down the temperature. All right, mix it up. Just keep mixing it. And uh, let's go ahead and cover that back up. Until it's ready. All right, it started smoking a little. So I went ahead and turned it down to about a, about a three. So now we just stir it up. You want to stir it constantly. Every few minutes, get in there and stir it. This is going to take a little bit because you don't want to do it too fast. All right, now while we're waiting on that, I was just going to tell you about the container. This is just a metal tube. On the bottom, as you can see, it's that hard putty. Let me get the box. This stuff right here, a little bit goes a long way. And uh, you want to put some in the uh, in a bowl, mix it with just a little bit of water, and then get it into like a putty, and then uh, just slap some down in the bottom. I usually get mine about a third, about a third of an inch thick. Doesn't matter. You can just dollop some down in there. Just uh, make sure you seal the edges. Looks like I got a little bubble right there, but this stuff isn't liquid, so it's not going to leak out. So that's not an issue. So what I'm going to do next, this is the tea. This is going to sit in like so. So whenever it come, the smoke comes up, it's going to hit here and it's going to go out both sides and disperse in a more centralized area instead of just going in one direction if you didn't have that. If you didn't have that on there, it would just go spit in one direction. So, you can actually use this as a, this is metal, for once again, for flammability and durability. But if you want to use PVC tubing, you can. It's going to melt. It will melt. Because this thing doesn't get hot. It's going to be a little bit more flammable. And uh, that's why I decided to go with this. And if you've made these before, then you know. All right, speaking of containers, now let's go into the legality of this stuff. I will put pictures pictures right here in screenshots of what North Carolina says. It is perfectly legal for you to make your own type of pepper spray. And you can own pepper spray. You can own a pepper fog, like you've seen in my previous videos. But the you cannot own more than a 150 cubic centimeters container. Now, I'll, I got a screenshot of the quick math on here of what uh, the dimensions you would need so this tube right here if you're going to do a tube like that you can only go to this is a inch and three quarter tubing and you can go up to 3.8 inches tall that right there if you look at the screenshot for the math will give you under a hundred and fifty cubic centimeter container now you have to read the law because it goes about the container size and also the stuff inside so do this at your own discretion and we're still waiting don't be in a rush because you don't want to burn this stuff and you don't want to you know melt it too fast get smoke you know you might cause a fire don't know we'll talk about our fuses this is you can buy a roll of like 20 30 foot off Amazon cannon fuse this is three millimeter I try and go with a waterproof kind you can look at that up it's actually pretty cheap so this is about three 
three millimeters thick. Good stuff. As far as the as far as the igniter, you will use a 50% ratio of stump remover and sugar. You don't have to blend it. You don't have to get it all fine powder. You just put like five grams of uh, five or ten grams of stump remover and five and the matching amount of sugar. Shake it up and you'll pour it in the middle like I'm going to show you. All right, good. Kind of looks like a wet sand. Now you really don't want it too clumpy, uh, clumpy like I did it here, but you can smooth that out, and chop it up. All right, let's mix it. All right, now it's time for this part. This is the part where you want to be outside for it, because once the heat from this, and you start mixing it, if you're inside, it'll be a it'll be a, be a call for a bad day, because even right now, I can feel it. Burn, uh, burning already so you want plenty of ventilation all right now that I got it in there I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up real good and then I'll show you all right that's what she looks like now you usually you might want a finer powder if you want like a not so big clumps bigger clumps but this is a, your recipe man you do what you want you, if you can refine it and make it better you let me know in the comments comments because I'm always down to improve now we just scoop her in there and we put her in that bad boy right there all right now that she's in there I like to pack it down I like to pack it down pretty good my nose is already burning that's good stuff pack it down pack it down pack it down now you can leave a gap right here for the top of your stuff like down here with a hole in the middle or you can do like I'm going to do and I'll show you with the T like always get you a pencil stick all the way down to the bottom so you'll have a hole for your igniter stuff to go into all right now all that sugar and stuff once it dries it should harden you should be good all the way down to the bottom all right here we go all right as you can see i got my putty in here my water and i'm just going to mix that up all right so when you're done mixing it you want a thick paste all right the thicker the better because it'll dry faster and it'll dry harder as you can see right there now what you're going to do with that is you're going to put a thin layer in here and I'll show you when it's done oh, I got trash everywhere look at all this nastiness all right so that's what I mean by a thin layer you don't want it going all the way to the top because this well once that pencil's out of the way is going to sit in there just a hair depending on how how deep you want to go with it your call really and in a few minutes, when this putty is solidified a little bit, you're going to take your pencil and you're just going to twist it, twist it, twist it. All right? Make sure the because you're going to want, you don't want that pencil to harden in there because it's going to be a pain to get it out. You'll snap the pencil off. Trust me, I've done it. So just give that a few minutes. When that hardens up just a little, you'll be able to twist it around, pull it, Boom, you'll have your little perfect hole. All right, and we're back. I like to waller mine out a little bit so I'll have a little bit bigger of a hole so I can put more material and it's easier to put it down in there. And then, boom. That's where your fuse and your igniters, your igniter powder will go. which you're gonna wait until that fully hardens. Ah, you can probably do that in probably about like an hour or so. And then you can uh, put your stuff in there. I'll show you. Just basically from this step on is exactly how you would do the other smoke devices and that I've showed you how. All right, you put your, your fuse in there, you put your igniter, and then boom, you can put that on top. If it's, 
and then you can tape the crap out of it if that's what you want to do which you'll probably need to at one point I was trying something else with this but it just added extra weight so you can just like s screw this on just too much and I got this powder everywhere God. this is a messy thing so if you can do it out in like an outbuilding or outside or something do it so I will show you the finished finish product when it's done all right, and just like always, you're gonna take your fuse and you're gonna stick it all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom, as far as you can go. Now you're gonna want your fuse a little long, sticking out. So, whenever you put the T on, you can just wrap it, just like so, and it'll be sticking out the side. Now I know this looks highly suspicious, but it's non-lethal, so go from there now we'll take this back off and we'll put our igniter in if you notice you'll have like a, a little gap in here a little uh so you can put like a cotton ball spread out cotton put it in there to hold in your igniter then i like to put tape over it like so just like so and it'll keep your igniter in there now let's put on the top and taper up All right, now that I got tape up, I put tape all the way down. It goes over, to hold it in a place, and you can fill in your gaps, and it keeps this T on top. Let's go set it off. All right, test number six. As you can see, it blows out both sides. My throat, my throat and my lungs are on fire. And now it's just a quick whiff. Yeah, it's still a little flammable way at the end, but the container did not catch fire. It just came out the side a little bit. <sighs> I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. That was definitely, uh, definitely a little, a little rough, but success. This is the, this is the one, this is the formula that works. So this is what you should go with. All right. All right, we are going to try a different formula. This is going to be 40 grams of stump remover. Let's put that in our dedicated blender. This stuff right here. Then we want to do 80 grams of sugar. All right, we have close to 80 grams of sugar. We're gonna go ahead and pour that in our dedicated 
blender. Use a dedicated blender cup so you don't accidentally poison yourself. Let's go ahead and blend it up into a fine powder. Alright, it doesn't take much. Just a little bit of should be good all right I went ahead and got my dedicated pot go ahead once again use a dedicated thing so don't accidentally poison yourself we're gonna go ahead and dump our 4080 mixture in here we're gonna warm it up we're gonna heat it up not quite melted but it will look like a warm uh, wet sand I got that on a uh, four probably around a three to four we're going to cover it up with a plate, let it get warm, and stir it every few minutes. Alright, while our stuff is mix, uh, melting on the stove, we're going to use our spice. I use this 1 million Scoville concentrated pepper extract. 4 ounces, 113 grams. Now you're going to pour, you're going to use 35 grams And you should be able to get, there we go, about 35. And you should be able to make three of these devices with just one bottle. Alright, I'm outside now and I'm going to tell you why. This crap is spicy. You're going to go ahead and dump it in a bowl. Do this mixture outside because when you put the warm material into this i'm just going to turn that upside down let it drain better when you put the warm sugar and stuff in here don't do it in your kitchen because your kitchen will burn it will smell like pepper and you will have to let it air out for like a day or so trust me from experience i know this so we're going to sit that in there we're going to bring our mixture out we're going to mix it outside let's go talk about your container Alright, let's go ahead and talk about the container. This is a piece of, uh, just a metal tube. Come on, camera focus. Conduit, electrical conduit. It says one inch and three quarters, so an inch and three quarter. And, uh, the bottom is that putty, like you've seen in the other video. Ignore the mess on the counter. I've been messing with this stuff all morning just messing around with it I got powder and stuff all over the place now North Carolina you can make your own smoke devices you can make your own pepper spray right this is like a pepper fog I call it a cloud uh you know the cough cloud as you'll see in the introduction and so the quick mass I'm going to show you North Carolina you can only have a container smaller than a hundred and 50 cubic centimeters and I will do the quick maths on that and I will screenshot it and I will put it here for the container size that you'll need so you're only going to be able to do about a 3.8 inch container in order to be legal and I will screenshot the law and the uh, quick maths on here As you can see, I'm making a mess over here. Now, this looks like a wet sand, which is what you want to go for. All right. Now, you're asking, why do you melt it? Does that do some type of chemical reaction? You know what? I don't know. I'm not a science guy. But I do know most of this is sugar. And when sugar is regular, it's not real sticky. But when you melt it and it starts to cool down, it will stick together and harden. Which is what you want because you're going to want a hardened core so you can separate your igniter, keep your igniter and your core separated so it's not all sloshing around and mixing up together. So, now this is about done. Let's go mix it. Alright, here we are. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you. As soon as this warm mixture meets this sauce, you're going to smell it and it's going to start to burn your nose. That's why we do it outside. So, let's do this and mix her up. 
put it all in there I gotta scrape the bottom and then I'll mix it up and show you all right she is all good and coated let's go ahead and put it in the container just scoop it in there with a the spoon all right once you got her in there you're gonna sit here and just tap it let it settle just keep letting it settle keep letting it settle then you can fit more see look it's already settled a bunch keep doing that once it's settled, just keep putting more in it. Alright, now that I've added more, I'll just lightly pack her down. Don't pack it too tight. Because you still need to put your pencil in the middle. So you can have a hole for your igniter. Yeah, don't worry, you're going to have some left over. That's good, you can just put it in your next tube. Alright, you got your pencil down in the middle. That will leave you in a nice hole. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Anyway, you get the picture. Now, what you're going to do, just like in your regular smoke devices I showed you in your other, in the other video about your regular white smoke devices, you're going to do your putty topping. And I'm not going to bore you with that. So, let's go get her done. Alright, now that the, uh, putty toppers there you got a hole all the way down you're going to let this dry for a complete well not a complete 24 hours but it's uh 246 today i probably won't mess with this thing until noon tomorrow let everything dry let the sugar and stuff on the inside harden and then you can put your fuse and other stuff in so there's no moisture left in it all right now we got her filled up with our little 50 50 mix Let's go ahead and throw some tape over it, just to hold in the uh, your igniter pow powder, which is your 50-50 sugar and uh, stump remover. All right, now that your tape is on, nothing special. You're gonna run your fuse through the bottom of your T. That's gonna come out the side, just like so. Nothing fancy. Now we're gonna throw some tape over it to keep this held down nothing fancy just throw some tape over top and then around to seal any cracks and now we get to go try it right, as you can see it's a little rainy today so uh, let's go ahead and start this out See? Yep. As you can see, this is a slow burning mix. Very slow. Yep. <laughs> Which I guess is a good kind of a good thing. A little too slow for me. I gotta tell you, even though it's just in that uh, thin cloud, you can still feel it. It's still gonna make you cough. But the, it seems like the the 40 mix isn't that good. A little slow.
Then And I think that about wraps it up.